All right guys, so I just woke up. I am back home right now for Easter break. And I'm gonna do a full day of eating today, 2,700 calories. So yeah, I'll give you guys a little physique update. So the last video physique update, I feel like I look drastically different from then. I can't really talk right now, I'm like really tired. Starting to finally lean out, I've been super patient with this cut because I've been really slowly cutting calories like I've preached this whole time. And it's finally starting to pay off and I'm pretty much the same strength as when I started, which is also a good thing. So yeah, I'm gonna take you through all six of my meals that I eat in a day. Um, so starting off the day, I do fasted cardio for 20 minutes. Last video is all about my supplements, all the stuff I take, which you guys can watch, but this is what I take with fasted cardio. Alpha Yohimbine or Lucine. So yeah, I'm gonna take two of these. Go downstairs and do my cardio. It's nice that I don't have to walk all the way to the rec center. I mean, it's only like a 10 minute walk, but still it's nice I can just go right downstairs. I also never really know what to wear when I do faster cardio since I'm like not showered or anything. I don't wanna like dirty up clothes. So this is just what I wore yesterday and this is what I've been doing. It might sound kind of gross, but I mean, yeah, it's all right. I don't really sweat when I go to the gym. I only really sweat when I do cardio. So yeah, these aren't that bad. This is the fifth minute show though, so I'll see you guys when we get down there. 20 minutes, three speed, eight incline. All right, so that is 20 minutes of faster cardio. I'm sweating a little bit, so that is why I do not shower before. So yeah, I'm gonna go shower now and get changed and I'll see you guys with meal number one. Also, I forgot to do this with water and my voice is like, eh. so yeah. All right, here we have meal number one. 59 grams of oats, scoop of protein powder, and then 32 grams of peanut butter. For these oats, I use the Jack Factory Unfinished Iso Protein, 110 cals. Macros for that should be on the screen right now. So I'm gonna eat that, and then I also have to finish a YouTube video that's going up today in a couple hours, so I need to grind that out. It's almost done, just have a few more things. It's the grocery haul video. That I guess would've gone up like two or three weeks ago by now, the time you're seeing this. So yeah, I'm gonna eat that. I will see you guys in a little bit for meal number two. If you guys haven't watched the video, this would have gone up a few weeks ago. I don't even know if this is the thumbnail. Yeah, I'm just looking through the pictures, but if you guys didn't watch the uh, grocery haul and meal prep, make sure you guys go check that out. I spent a lot of time on this video and it has a lot of good information. Also, Brooklyn Nets just won the playing game. So this video, by the time it's up, the first round would have already been done, but for me it's not. So I'm predicting it'll go six games, Nets win 4-2. That's my prediction. So yeah, hopefully I don't get flamed for that. But anyway, we are now going to make the next meal. Gosh, it's bright. I'll stand right here. So since I am home, I don't really need to meal prep since I'm not in college. So I can just cook stuff as needed since I have a kitchen. Um, but I like to use this air fryer kind of hybrid oven thing. So I'm gonna be using the sear plate right here. So basically what I do is I make both of my chickens for the day because I have chicken and rice twice a day. So I'm gonna put that there. Trusty food scale. All right, two chicken breasts. I'm gonna try to find the best way to show you guys this. It's hard when I don't have like a filmer, but it's all good. We'll just have to do it like this. So here we're going to take the sear plate and before I actually weigh out the chicken, I use, or I, sp I spray it with the avocado oil spray. Um, again, that's what I use in college just because it doesn't smoke as much. I never know the best way to open up these packs. I usually just like cut it on all corners so I can just rip the top off. All right, so I want each chicken breast to be six ounces or just pretty close to it. If it's a few point zero ones over, it doesn't really matter. So this is a big one, this is 9.2. So I kind of look for the fat and just cut off that part because I don't really like chewy chicken. All right, so it kind of worked out perfect. One is 6.1, one is 5.9. So now I'm going to take this over to the air fryer, put it in, and then I like to use, I don't know like if they all have the same settings, but I use rapid bake, 360, nine minutes, and then I flip them and then do another nine minutes. So yeah, it's gonna take a second to preheat. Usually after I flip it, I make the rice, 
So yeah, I'll show you guys after I flip it whenever we make the rest of the rice and the spinach. So yeah, I have that twice a day. All right, so I just flipped the chicken and I realized I forgot to season it. So that's kind of a unfortunate situation, but the seasoning that I usually use is anything Mrs. Dash. The best one in my opinion is the Fiesta Lime. Um, so yeah, usually I would put that on there with some salt and pepper, but whoops. But I cannot do that because I forgot. So that is unfortunate. So now I'm about to make the rice and spinach. Um, it's just pouring water and rice, so it's not really a complicated process. So I'll see you guys with meal number two here in a second. All right, boys, meal number two is ready. So we have 77 grams of white rice, 25 grams of spinach, and six ounces of chicken. About to throw on this like 10 calorie sugar-free sweet chili sauce. Pretty good amount, especially since I have no seasoning. All right, so the macros for this should be on the screen right there. Um, yeah, I'll probably see you guys sooner than later because I waited a little bit to eat since I had some work to do. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and maybe in an hour or so have my next little meal number three slash snack. Uh, so yeah, looks pretty good as you can see. And I'm excited to eat this. So yeah, I'll see you guys here shortly. So now it is about 3.30. I'm going to have my next snack or meal number three technically. So I'm just going to have a protein bar. There's a bunch of different flavors of the two protein bars. I'm just gonna have the chewy chocolate chip and then come over here and have some rice cake bites. So here at home, I have the cinnamon swirl ones at school. I have the birthday cake. This is my next little snack. Just to quickly show you guys what it looks like. This is what the pure protein bar looks like. We'll focus. I don't know, it's not focusing, but it's pretty good. 200 calories, rice cake bites. It's kinda hard to show in there. Here. Yeah, I don't know, it's not focusing right now, but macros for this should be on the screen. This is meal number three. I'll see you guys in about two hours for meal number four. All right, meal number four, we got cinnamon raisin English muffin. We're going to break it in half and then toast each side. So this is gonna be more of like a midday snack. It's about 4.30. And then in about an hour and a half to two hours, around 6 to 6.30, I'll have my next chicken and rice meal, which is meal number five, um, which is kind of like a pre-workout-ish meal, about an hour before I work out. And then after that, I'll have my last meal. So yeah, this is just gonna toast for a second. All right, so here we have the English muffin with 16 grams of peanut butter. So just like spread evenly across both. Um, macros for this should be on the screen. So I switched out the bagels for these because these are a little bit less calories and since I'm now eating 2700, um, this is a little bit less. So yeah, look pretty good. Taste just, I mean they're not as thick as the bagels but they taste pretty much the same. So I'm gonna eat these and I'll see you guys about an hour before I work out for meal number five. Meal number five, my pre-workout-ish meal. Of course, I can't forget the sauce, sweet chili again. I have barbecue for this too, but lately I've just been enjoying the sweet chili. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick time lapse. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be the last thing I ate before I go to work out. Uh, so I'll show you guys one more thing. Real quick though, I'm gonna put the macros for this on the screen right now. It's just the same from earlier, but yeah, I'll put the macros up. And then just because I don't really need to show you guys again, pre-workout, I'll be having Jack Factory Nitro Surge Cherry Limeade. This is my all-time favorite flavor, by the way, as well as two Rice Krispie Treats pre-workout. So yeah, I'll put the macros for these on the screen right now. Not too bad, like 180 calories. But yeah, obviously I don't really consider the two Rice Krispie Treats a meal. So yeah, I just want to show you guys that just if you want to know the macros, just some carbs before I work out and then the Nitro Surge pre-workout. Use code JCUP. All Jack Factory products are 15% off when you use my code. Um, yeah, supplement video, I think was my last video. Check that one out. All right, so now I'm going to enjoy this meal. Try to make it so you guys can see me. I'm a little bit blind right now. Okay, that's good. So yeah, let me get the sauce. Again, no seasoning, so I need to put a lot of sauce on this. Sometimes chicken and rice can get a little bit old and a little bit bland. So yeah, some low calorie sauces are a nice little hack. Here we go. All right, first bite of this like perfectly cooked chicken. I mean, it's chicken.
All right, boys, last bite. Devoured that in less than 10 minutes. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we go down to train some chest. All right guys, so we're about to train some chest and we are training at my house today because the gym that we go to back here in Kansas City is like under construction. Um, so yeah, I can't really film there right now. But unfortunately my basement was like, I guess like something happened with the water. It like flooded a little bit. So you can see like right here, there's like some, I think that's rust, is that rust? Yeah, it's like some rust. So yeah, we're in a grungy, grungy underground gym today. So we're gonna train some chest. Luckily, everything that we need to do is just with um, a barbell and dumbbells. So yeah, we're gonna start off with bench press. We have a top set of three and then two sets of four. So Aubrey's gonna go for a 95 pound bench press PR, so we'll see if she gets this. Good luck. <laughs> well, that was a mission failed, boys. All right, boys, so the three rep max, or top set of three did not go to plan, but I actually realized I made a mistake. I was supposed to do 205 for my top set, but I actually did 215 for two, so I guess that's technically a PR. Um, and then I did two sets of four, 185. I swear that these weights are heavier. I take that off it's and tell like, me, does it feel? It feels like 80 pounds. Does it like, feel heavier than a normal 45? Yeah, like normally I could pick, like, oh. Yeah, I don't know why. The weights, the weights here are just heavier, and but. It's like a smaller plate too, like it's like smaller than. Yeah, I don't know, because it's like iron or steel or whatever, but. It just feels a lot heavier today, but it's all good. I'll take the 215 for two. I don't know if I could still hit 235 for one, but maybe. Next up, we have incline dumbbell bench, three sets of six. Uh, the problem is I only have dumbbells that go up to 40, so I'll probably just do three sets to failure with the 40s. I might have 45s. And then after that, incline dumbbell chest flies. So yeah, those will be super setted. We will be doing those next, so let's get into it.
All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the chest and biceps workout. So yeah, I mean, it was decent, but we don't have a lot to work with down here. Um, but yeah, the main point of this video anyway is the full day of eating. That was good. I'm gonna do some posing real quick, and then I will see you guys in a little bit for the final meal, meal number six, my post-workout meal. So yeah, see you guys soon. Do you wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> this is the filmer, cameraman. Yeah, camera woman. Yeah. What do you wanna to say to the video today? Hello. Anything else? No. No? No. Did you get a good workout in? Yeah, I did. You failed the PR? I did fail the PR. I failed that PR three times now. Yep. Yeah. But you'll get it someday. That's okay. Yep. One day. All right. Okay. Just shout out the camera woman. Okay. All right. Goodbye. To the next meal. Go do whatever you do. Cotton 4K. <laughs> what? Say cotton 4K. <laughs> All right guys, so now it is my post-workout slash sixth meal of the day. Um, before that, we got, of course, a little bit of liquid dopamine. Just something to kind of suppress the appetite. Um, caffeine being the suppressant. Here, we got my chocolate oatmeal. Yeah, as you can see, looks pretty good. This is the chocolate protein powder I use. It has collagen in it. I will put the macros for this final meal on the screen right here. And then over here, I will put the total macros for the day. My phone's dead, so I can't calculate it right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the full day of eating. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. I know that the lighting and stuff in the basement wasn't the best because when it's dark outside, it doesn't look as good down there. It's really like yellowy. The whole point of the video anyway was to show everything I eat, 2,700 calories. I'll see you guys next week. Leave a like and subscribe. Code JCUB, 15% off all Jack Factory products. Peace out, boys.